Hi guys. Uh, I had a, I had this intro planned out, but now I forgot what to say. <laughs> if you think my bed looks weird, you can't really see it, but it does look weird. I had to wash it. I had to wash the entire bed. Why? You'll have to figure that out by yourself. Today, I'm gonna do a new vid. Obviously, that's why I'm sitting here. I'm doing a DIY room decor, and these are all pretty much Tumblr inspired. If you like this video, be sure to give it a thumbs up and comment something down below. Also, be sure to subscribe to subscribe. So also, be sure to subscribe to my channel and let's get started. So this first DIY is really simple, but it turned out really great for me. So it's like a DIY mason jar decoration kind of thing. And what you need for this are two glass jars. You're also going to need like a knife or an exacto knife, wide washi tape, spray paint, then also twine and some kind of marker. Start off by taking your wide washi tape and put some washi tape on both the R's. So then you're going to start drawing or like cutting out a heart. And mine failed really really failed as you can see so I really recommend drawing a heart with a sharpie or like with a pen beforehand so you can just cut it out and then just remove the other washi tape you can you can see what I'm doing <laughs> then I'm taking my black spray paint and I'm just spray painting you're obviously supposed to do this outside but whatever I'm lazy I did it in my room then I peeled off the washi tape that was left and then I added some twine to my jar, made it a little bit pretty, and then I decorated it with a gold marker. So that is basically it. I think this turned out really, really nice. And right next to my new jar decorations, I had this really, really, really ugly box, jewelry box. So I decided to put a Chanel design on it. So the first thing I did was painting my box white again and i had to paint a couple coats because the white paint didn't want to cover the ugly things word yeah. then i went over to google and i printed out a chanel logo design picture yeah then i cut that out with an exacto knife you have to be really careful with this but that i think that's pretty obvious then i just outlined the chanel logo with a pen then I took some black acrylic paint and I just filled in um, the Chanel logo again and after it's dry it is done and it is pretty and I really like it now I'm gonna show you like the most difficult DIY and that is a moon face hanging yeah cool for this you're going to need black and white clay you're going to need either tape or needle and thread. You're also going to need a toothpick and a roller pin. So start off by following the instructions on the clay package and then you can just start playing with the clay. Whoa. So what you're going to do is you're going to make four balls of clay and then just flatten them out a bit and then put a little bit of white clay on each and after that you're going to roll them up again and create like this kind of marble effect. So now flatten them out again, make them flat, make them nice. And then you're going to need either a cookie cutter or just a round glass. And now you're going to make the moons. So you're going to like, you can Google moon faces and then create the moons after the moon faces picture. Yeah, I don't really know, but it's kind of obvious. Just make some moons, okay? So now you're going to make some holes in each. If you're going to use like thread to hang it up, yeah. And then just bake them in the oven according to the package. Now I am taking duct tape because that is more simple. And I'm just going to put some duct tape on each moon. And then I just put them up on my wall. And I think this turned out really, really nice. The last DIY is a DIY inspiration gallery wall. And this is also super duper pretty. So what I did was I took a few picture frames I already had and then I painted them silver because I think that goes with my room. 
once they're all dry and nice, I went to my Tumblr and I printed out a bunch of pictures that I had on my Tumblr. Um, really just look for pictures that inspires you. So if you want to go to my Tumblr, there will be a link down below. So once I had them all printed out, I put them into the picture frames, I hung them up and it created this really really nice gallery wall and I think it looks super duper cute and it really looks nice. So that is all for this video, this vid, and um, I really hope you liked it. Be sure to give it a thumbs up and comment down below if you did, and subscribe to my channel for new videos every single day, and yeah, I'll talk to you tomorrow. Bye!